Oh man. Oh god. Of course the sun is right on my face. How do we sweet that did nothing. Okay, it is early. Just a little past seven, which is early for me. Even though I get up uh really early than this for school. Whatever. Um I'm tired, so I'm gonna make this quick because uh, I have to drive soon. But yeah, we're in Suburban. We have a bunch of tools and an engine hoist in the back. And we're at U-Haul right now getting a mini little trailer. So today should be a fun day. Uh, Yeah, so bought an LS. I know it's in a Silverado. I know it's an Iron Block 5.3, which is what I wanted. I know it has the harness. I know it has the trans, which I'm not gonna use, but can take it, sell it. And I know we're gonna go pull the engine today. That's about it. Don't know much. I know the truck is crashed. That's about it. I think there's about 120,000 miles on the engine. Yeah, don't know much about it. Anyway, it should be a fun day. I'm going back to sleep for now. So I didn't film a whole lot kind of beforehand and while we were actually taking the engine out simply because we were just on such a time crunch and honestly, I didn't really think to uh, pick up the camera because we were just working, hanging out, and having fun. But these clips do show kind of a walk around of what the truck looked like beforehand. Needless to say, it was pretty beat. Uh, right now, it's going to go into the time lapse of us taking out the engine, and this voiceover thing was weird. Well, after a lot of work and multiple hours later, the engine is out of this thing. Holy cow. Uh, my dad's positioning the trailer. We're gonna get this thing in here because it weighs like 40 million pounds with the trans and transfer case on there. Yeah, not use any of those, but take them, sell them. We had to take the water pump, front accessories, manifolds, intake, fuel rails. All that off in order to get the engine out because we had to go at such an angle as you probably saw in the time lapse. But dude, it's out. I'm gonna try to get this mess cleaned up before it uh, starts to get dark and cool outside. And then get on out of here and head home. Everything's all loaded up. Got the engine, trans, accessories, intake, half the engine hoist, tools. And there's the, uh, the donor. Yeah, this thing was beat. Nothing, uh, nothing to be good for except for giving up the engine. Yeah. And, uh, where is it? The uh, third box here. Bam. 5-3. And, bam. 5-3. Happy to know that's for certain. Alright. We got a few hours to get home now. Okay, we are headed out now fun day there's now a 2002 Silverado as we found out no engine drivetrain left in it and uh, make sure you go give these guys a file here their uh, YouTube is broken gear and their Instagram is broken gear show they got a pretty cool uh, idea slash project for this duster coming up 72 same as mine then there is a 68 I want to say GTO can't totally remember this one's gonna be pretty cool especially with the drivetrain that we'll be putting in it and then uh, there's some other little projects over there. And yeah, a car is a banana. Not gonna say a world's first, but probably one of its kind, that is for sure. Okay, time to say bye to this truck. It looks sad. Made it back home. Everything is still in the trailer. Although, we stopped to get some food when I came out back here. The whole ECU was just hanging. <laughs> off the back of the trailer here. So I just kind of tucked it in there. Oh. We lost our five gallon bucket that was sitting there. So if anyone sees a bright orange Home Depot five gallon bucket uh, anywhere in Indiana or Illinois, I think that's mine. Yeah, okay. So time to unload the hoist, reassemble it. I think we're just going to toss the engine hoist right to right over there for now 
because it's late and I'm tired and then tomorrow I'll take trans and harness and all, all that good stuff off. It is the following day now and we're gonna go ahead and uh, start tearing into this thing. There it is. Not too far, but uh, at least enough where we can get it kind of out of the way and uh, cleaned up because we have made a mess in the garage between all the parts back there and the engine and hoist here. So first things first, I think we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, trans and transfer case off because I wanna clean those up, get them up for sale. Probably take like motor mounts, start it off, just some little stuff and then uh, take off this mess of a harness. So let's see how long this takes and then we'll go ahead and toss it up on the engine stand there. Probably doesn't look a whole lot different since the last clip, but the entire harness is off. Yeah, it's a big bulky harness. It's a little bit crusty. Here's the engine, got the uh, coil packs and motor mounts off, bag and tag and everything, of course. Um, we took all this stuff off the other day, and I'm pretty sure this is where I want the engine to be. Up until we put it on the stand might take the harmonic balancer off now. We'll see But now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the trans Hopefully there's a plate on the bottom we can take off spin the torque converter get those bolts off Get the trans off And yeah, get this thing on the stand and then I can start cleaning it because boy is it uh, It's pretty dirty Well yeah, Oof. the engine is completely torn down now, as you can see. And we weren't expecting to go this far, like I said earlier, but uh, there's kind of an issue. It, it, it's a tiny problem, not that big of a deal. Um, you could just add this one here to the, uh, the trophy case of all my other ones. And uh, let me get a light really quick. Yep, that is a pretty gnarly hole in the side of the block. That sucks a lot. <sighs> this one burns a little. Yeah, you can see it in this picture right here. That one was just, ooh, probably eight months ago. I mean, this one technically wasn't my fault, but it wasn't my fault. But it, uh, yeah, just stings. That was a, a lot of time, effort, money spent into this thing just for it to go out the window like that. But hey, got a bunch of these LS parts. Could probably sell all these. ECU is good. Sell the trans and transfer case, make some money, and yeah, we'll go out and find ourselves another 5.3. Slam it in this thing and uh, make every Mopar guy happy again, so don't worry. This ain't the end, we'll be coming back better than ever.